guys, welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. Now today I'm making yet another departure and doing what is a really large fish for my fish room at 2.8 inches, Shastura CF Baltiata, or the tri-banded sumo loach. There's a couple of these on the market, um, some of which are prettier than others, and there's a few important things to know about their care. They are territorial and they can be nippy and you need to set up your decor appropriately, but they're absolutely gorgeous and really fun to keep. So let's take a look. As you can see, these guys are absolutely beautiful with that nice rich yellow color to their back half and that bright pink banding. Um, they are super fun to keep. You can also see how active they are by the amount of sediment that is currently being stirred up in the water column and that is simply because I got close to the tank. Now in a second here I'll drop in some food so you guys can see how they really behave and so I can keep them in focus. So I've dropped some pellets in here and you can really see how easy these guys are to feed. Um, in the wild they're omnivorous and micro predators so would eat you know crustaceans, zooplankton, and all sorts of things. In the home aquarium it's very easy to supplement them with frozen dry or even in this case pellets. In the wild they come from really clear well oxygenated waters near waterfalls so you know they're, they're basically a hill stream species so you want a lot of current and a lot of oxygen but they actually like things a little bit warmer than most of the other hill stream species with a temperature of 70 to 79. They can take a pH range of about six and a half to seven and a half um, but the biggest thing with these guys is they can be really territorial. They can be real jerks. So even in this quarantine tank, I've put in a little bit of sand as well as a bunch of rocks and pieces of driftwood, as well as Nubia so that they can establish different territories so that they don't pick on each other. They do set up a very distinct pecking order, which means you either need to keep quite a few of them or not many at all and they need a pretty good sized tank despite their adult size of two and three quarter inches. You also need to be really careful who you house them with. This is not a good community fish for any fish that has long flowing fins or likes slower moving water. I like to keep them and you may see some come into the frame with things like Danio Kayathit, which are another Danio species that come from very fast moving waters. They're also really, really good with things like Pandagara, the Sewellias, Pseudogastromyazons, Gastromyazons, and things like that. And again, they make an absolutely incredible, active, beautiful display. And if you feed them live or frozen, they actually feed throughout the entire water column, so are really entertaining to watch. You know, again, I don't generally keep a lot of these, what I call, bigger loaches, but these are just so beautiful, I couldn't resist them. They also have a lot of conspecific aggression, which means you don't want to keep them with loaches that are of a similar shape and size, or they will fight. Now these differ from your normal sumo loach in that um, the vertical bars are pink or yellow. What's also interesting about these guys is that their mouth is actually two and a half to three times wider than it is long. So they're very capable of eating quite a range of foods and should definitely not be housed with snails or shrimp. Again, just really beautiful, active, exciting fish to keep, which is why I have them in stock. I think they're absolutely stunning. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stop by my Facebook as well as my website, newsjinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. This upcoming weekend, I will be in Chicago for the Chicago Cichlid Classic, and then shortly after that, I'll be in North Jersey for a, a monthly meeting. Um, also, I wanted to thank you guys for the donations you made. It made it so that I could buy a brand new tripod this weekend. Awesome. Just thanks for your continued support.